Hey guys, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. Ooh, <laughs> I am headed out to the garden this evening and I thought that I would just take you along. Uh, we have an evening of, well I have about an hour is really all that I have. Uh, but it's a beautiful evening and it's quiet and I am still basking in my um, just overwhelming feeling of gratefulness for my community. My water's back on. Um, we got that fixed today. So, um, and I, you know, just couldn't do it without, without the people in my community helping me and, um, and Mr. Wonderful, uh, you know, giving ideas and answering questions over the phone and, and being available for that. Uh, so just come spend a night in the garden with me and I'm doing chores out here and, uh, we have a lot going on out here, uh, but I'm doing I'm doing some cleanup, and then of course we will need to take uh, bring the horses back in. So come along, let's spend some time in the garden. So here are our beautiful tomatoes. Uh, this is what we are doing: is we're finishing tying up tomatoes. I'm doing weeding. You can see some piles of weeds back there. And just kind of, you know, general cleanup and puttering around the garden. This is the bed that I'm working on right now. Uh, just tying these guys up. I'm just gonna let you guys watch me work. And if I see anything that I'd really like to mention, then I will. Oh, and if you see any tomato hornworms, would you pick them off for me, please? I know they're out here, but not having much luck at finding them. I have picked some this evening. Baby, baby hornworms. Speaking of which, oh, my cup is right here. What I've gotten. I love the fact that I live in a small, unincorporated community that the majority of the traffic after 5 p.m. in the evening is UTVs and tractors going up and down the road. There's not much traffic, um, but what, what there is of it is is farm vehicles you know people people going to and from their you know their pastures or their cows or their hay or um, we're quickly approaching hunting time when people are hunting
So have you guys been hearing the thump, thump, thump in the background? Uh, and I don't want you to think that she was out of water for very long because the last time I checked it, it was four o'clock and she had some. But I'm gonna show you what the thump, thump, thump is. It's Miss Billie Jean telling me that she would like some water, please. Okay, back to the garden we go. I've got just a few small tomatoes um, in the tubs to prune. And then of course, I've got a lot of stuff to pick up and take to the chickens. So, so out here, we've, ha we've got a couple things that are going on with these tomatoes out here. One is tomato hornworm damage. This is what a tomato hornworm does. They strip the foliage off of your plants. And so then your plants just look like sticks. This is very classic tomato hornworm damage. Now the leaf curling, the leaf curling, I believe is a contaminated soil problem. So you see this severe curling. This is classic contaminated soil. Uh, it's, it's classic uh, that there has been a broad leaf herbicide in either the hay that we have bought that has ended up in our compost pile or in the manure that we have purchased or gotten from other places. Um, that is what I, I think it is. This is very classic of that. This very, very tight curling. Um, but this is, these pots are all with my most recent compost. And the other thing that this could be, I don't think it will show up this well I'm not sure the other thing that this could be is this could be that this compost is um, is too hot what in the world Billy Jean is being crazy girl so um, I believe that somewhere along the way we somehow got contamination in our compost and that is what I'm dealing with here that's that's what I think but nonetheless 
Um, Billy Jean, you're being nuts. Uh, these plants, there are plants out here that need to be tied up. And so let's get to it. interesting because some are not nearly as affected like this plant is not nearly as affected as some of the others are Okay, that's it for tying up tomatoes for now. And I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna watch and see. Um, I'm not positive on my diagnosis of what's going on with those tomato plants. So I'm gonna watch them. I'm gonna see if they come out of it. Um, and you know, if nothing else, I'm just gonna learn from them. Uh, you know, when they start getting brown and no, you know, I just pull them out and uh, and throw them away uh, or burn them. You don't want to put anything that you feel it could be sick with any kind of disease. You don't want to put that in your compost pile. So, which I don't put anything in my compost pile. I put give it to the chickens and then the chicken squat goes to the compost pile. But um, I believe that this is a soil issue. Uh, I'm just not positive on what kind of soil issue yet. I think it's contamination, but maybe it's that I didn't wait long enough. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. But we do have a lot of very beautiful tomatoes in this garden, and uh, I'm going to deliver these to the chickens. I'm going to leave my. We're not going to do any cleanup now because it's time to bring the horses in. So. I'm gonna leave my tools outside, which is not something that I recommend, but I know that it's not going to rain. We are in a dry spell here in North Central Arkansas. So I'm gonna grab my water and take my caterpillars to my chickens, and we're gonna go bring in the horses for the evening. They have, they're already fed. All of their dinners are in their trays. For those of you who have not been along, um, on our evening chore videos. Welcome, thank you for joining us. Uh, and so their, their hay and everything is already in their beds waiting for them and ready and I just need to bring them in and lock them up. Looks like we just have a few takers tonight. And I'm going to give these to the adults because uh, I know they'll be quick.
Beep check. You guys are all doing pretty good. They're so cute. For those of you who are new here, those are baby chicks that we hatched out of our incubator and they are all one to two days old. Okay, first things first, I gotta close this gate.
night, Rose. And with that, you guys, I'm gonna let you go. I hope you had a beautiful day. Thank you for coming along with me for an evening in the garden and some evening chores of bringing the horses in. I'll catch you on the next one. Yours truly.